Luke was born with a condition called Tetralogy of Fallow, which meant he was very, very poorly when he was first born and was taken straight to intensive care where he had his first open heart surgery at 24 hours old. He then had subsequent heart surgery when he was 18 months old. They were trying to do a full heart repair for his condition, but it wasn't able to happen at that age. And basically, we waited for him to grow. Unfortunately, the arteries inside his body didn't grow. And my last hospital that I went to told me that there was nothing more they could do for Luke. And that unfortunately, his condition was palliative and he would die before he got to teenage years. As a mum, you're not going to let that happen. You're not going to let that fly. So I went and spoke to my GP, did some research and found that the Royal Brompton Hospital were world leaders in complex conditions like my son's. I came here five years ago to see Professor Fraze and he has since worked tirelessly to get my son to where he is today which meant he had um, a partial heart repair in November last year. He's done multiple cardiac catheter based interventions with him to allow him to grow his arteries and he had his last cardiac catheter yesterday and he's doing incredibly well. I can't express how different my lad is from five years ago, um, from a very poorly little boy that wasn't expected to live, to a 13 year old boy that's got a much, much fuller life. Without the Brompton Hospital, my son wouldn't be here today. He would have died a few years ago now. I would have lost him. So it's vital that this hospital gets the equipment it needs to continue helping these children to have a quality of life, and in my son's case, to have a life. It's the best thing I ever did was to come to this hospital. Luke's biggest issue was the very small size of the pulmonary arteries. That means the arteries that connect the right part of the heart to the lung, where it can pick up the oxygen. This couldn't be treated only with surgery. So what we did is a process called rehabilitation of the pulmonary arteries, which means that we did few transcatheter intervention to increase the size of those pulmonary arteries, especially on the left side. If we want to be able to continue to do complex cases, it is crucial to have optimal biplane imaging. Optimal imaging will help us to perform a more accurate intervention, but will also decrease the potential side effects to our patients. For example, we can use much less X-ray and decrease the risk of cancer in those children who have repeated intervention. So if we have this uh, uh, equipment, uh, the future will allow us to perform more easily and faster patients like Luke.